If you are planning on heading out to the Pueblo Chili and Frijole Festival this weekend, no doubt you're going to see a lot of the chili roasting like we just saw behind Ira right there. One of the vendors has actually been roasting since mid-August in preparation for this festival. So let's join News 5's Maggie Bryan, who's also out there this morning. You talked a lot with them about this process, and you break it down in a way that we can all understand, Maggie. Yes, good morning, Bree. Joe DiTomaso is out here roasting these chilies just ahead of the festival. I talked with him, and he told me he remembered decades ago when the festival just started. It was about a block long and about six vendors, but over time, even though the festival has grown, this chili roasting has stayed the same. It's been around a long time, and it's just grown over the years. A tradition across generations, especially for this fourth generation farm in Pueblo. I remember my uncle starting it in the 80s, roasting chilies. D. Tomaso Farms has been at the Pueblo Chili and Frijoles Festival almost every year since the start. This year, they're bringing 36,000 pounds of chilies and roasting them at the event. There's a lot of people that uh, never have purchased chili before, don't know anything about roasted chili, and you know, you have to explain them and go through the process. The chili roasting starts with this iron cage. Chilies are cooked in it for about 10 minutes over an open flame. Then comes the water relief to stop the roasting, which takes off most of the charred skin in the process. Now cooked to perfection, the chilies are packaged up and sold to festival goers. I think it's a culture. I think it's just, uh, it's, it goes back a long time when we're you know, used to it, you know, it's part of their, their diet. And this crowd favorite roasted chili keeps people coming back to Pueblo. And we're seeing this chili being roasted now, but Di Tomaso says they're going to keep picking these chilies till the first frost. So Ira, he's hoping for a late one this year for sure. I say late frost, more green chili, more roasted green chili. That is all a wonderful thing. 